Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and we are now on Virgo. Alrighty Virgo, so let's see what Spirit has to say to you for this week. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Messages for Virgos. What do Virgos need to hear and know for this week? Messages for Virgos. What's going on with Virgos? Whoa, the whole dick slid out of my hand. What's going on with Virgos? Okay. 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 Hmm. It's almost like this week you're checking out. Are you checking out? Like emotionally? Like you're just like, I'm done. <laughs> Or someone is aware that you're doing this. You may feel like you just need some time away from someone. You need a break. Yeah. Some of you could be going through a rough time emotionally concerning a certain relationship. Some of you may be thinking about a past connection. Yeah. And it's like, I just need some time to think about this. I need some time alone and I need to think. We do have awareness here, which is like the magician. So you're aware of what you want to do. You're manifesting emotional withdrawal. And then we have harmony. Mm hmm. So there's a connection definitely that's on your mind, maybe requiring you to have a lot of patience as well this week at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, right behind it is patience and planning. And then balance. Yeah, you're having to like really slow down and think about what you want with a certain person or a certain partnership. Right behind balance was solitude, which is your major arcana in this deck. Solitude is the, the hermit card. So yeah, wow. You may be understanding yourself a little bit more this week, like understanding what does Virgo really want? What does Virgo really need? Do I really want this person in my life? Do I want to be in a relationship? Do I see myself with this person long term? It's like, that's those are the questions I hear you asking yourself. So you're going to need a lot of patience with yourself this week. Okay? Because you're kind of going into hermit mode, which is, like I said, your major arcana. So let's uh, clarify this energy and see what this is about. Tell me more about this energy for Virgos. Tell me more about this energy for Virgos. What else do you want to say to Virgos for this energy for this week? Okay. Why is awareness here? Why is emotional withdrawal here? Ooh. Why is harmony here? Mm. Oh. Yeah. It's almost like you know that someone is up to no good. You know it. You just, it's like you intuitively know this. Someone is up to no good. You know you need to end something because someone has betrayed you or hurt you in some type of way. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. Some truth or communication is getting ready to come out. Behind it is the Ace of Pentacles. It could be involving money uh, in some type of way or a solid offer. You find out the truth this week about an offer. Maybe that offer is not what you thought it was going to be. We have the Nine of Wands with the King of Cups. Yeah, there could be someone who's irritating you. This King of Cups, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio with the King of Cups. Mm. 
Yeah, somebody may have been in it with the Ace of Wands back there. Somebody may have been in it just for sex. Gosh. Okay. Let's see. With that awareness card, we have the Ten of Swords. Lots of sword energy. Lots of sword energy. You may feel betrayed some way or stabbed in the back. It's like if someone was trying to get over on you, you see this person for what they what they are. You're looking right at them. You are very aware with that awareness card of what this person has done and what's happening in this situation. They're not getting away with anything. They're not getting over on you. You know what's up. And then emotional withdrawal, we have the nine of swords. This is causing stress, anxiety. You're thinking about this all the time, over and over. You may be overanalyzing this situation, trying to figure out what this person is up to, what they're doing, and it's causing you to withdraw your emotions. That's why you have uh, the King of Cups with the Nine of Wands. It's like you're irritated emotionally. You're irritated and you want to get away. You need a break from this situation. And then we have Harmony. Harmony with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone, there was a connection here, but someone interfered in this connection. Could have been a younger fire sign, a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius who interrupted the harmony. Someone is interrupting the harmony, a third party. Um, could have been your partner stepped out for a night of fun. Um, this could also indicate someone who steps out for a one night stand. Um, yeah, let me get some more clarity on that. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, Three of Cups. Yeah, it could have been someone from their past. Three of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles. This, your partner, oh gosh, I hate this feeling. It's like uh, a frustrating feel. I feel your energy. It's just like you're frustrated because for some of you, this is not the first time you have felt or have found out that your partner has done something uh, to betray your trust. And with the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, I feel like your partner could have reconnected with someone from their past. Um, they could have took someone out. They could have went drinking with someone. And uh, you know what's going on. Yeah, and you you're very aware of how this person how their behavior is, okay? I feel like this is a toxic pattern that keeps happening. So let's let's see what else uh, Spirit wants to say with the Island Time Romance. What else does this person want to say? Or, oh gosh. Too many cards, too many cards, too many, too many. Let's see. <clears throat> what else does your person want to say to you? What does this person want to say? <clears throat> oh, <God. laughs> oh y'all. Okay, I'll pick those cards up later. It was literally like 12 cards just fell. Okay, the card that flipped over was date. It says meeting someone new. Dating, getting back or get back out there, plan set a date. Okay, so that may make sense to you, that may not, but this person who you're dealing with, they may have met someone new. Okay, I do not feel like it's like, oh, they want to date you. I feel like they have met someone new or went on a date with someone, it could have ended in a one night stand. At the bottom of the deck, we have snake. The snake, it says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. You guys, when I said that there was someone who came in and interfered with this connection, this is what I'm talking about. The two of you were like this, in harmony, and some little playboy, playgirl 
came in and distracted your partner. And this is what I see very clearly. And for spirit to bring out the snake card, someone came in like a snake and slithered between the two of you. That's what I feel. Okay. Gosh, it's a heavy message, but it's, it's, it's tight, but it's right. What's the advice for Virgos in this situation this week? What's the advice for Virgos? Yeah, Virgos, somebody needs to get put on the chopping block, okay? The chopping block. <laughs> what flew out, <laughs> Spirit wants to say gentleness. It says, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. And I feel like you are doing that by emotionally withdrawing yourself. You have checked out of this connection. This connection has really brought some sadness, some tears, some heartache, because I see it right here. You cannot have the 10 of swords and the nine of swords together and say that you're happy. You can't. You're not happy in this connection. You're not happy with this person. You're not happy in this situation. So spirit is saying at this time, be very gentle with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Some of you may be questioning, like, why do I keep doing this? You know, and maybe you, you were in love with this person. There's a reason why that harmony card came out. There was a deep connection between the two of you, but you know, sometimes people don't know how to resist temptation. And I feel like your person has fallen for temptation but be gentle with yourself, okay? At the bottom of the deck is passion. It says, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Spirit has something new coming for you. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career, okay? So some of you need to focus on career, some of you already are focusing on career. Virgo is all about working. Right behind it is patience. Yeah, like I said, you need to have patience with yourself. Okay? Spirit is saying have patience. Because you may feel like blowing up. You may feel like going off on this person. You may feel like attacking the person that came in, this Knight of Wands energy, you may feel like starting a fight, making a phone call to somebody, you know, getting your homegirls, your homeboys together. You know what I'm saying? You could be really going through it right now. And you may feel like you are being misunderstood or no one understands what you're going through or dealing with. But Spirit is pointing out these key things. Um, and Spirit knows. Okay, and that's the most important thing. So be gentle with yourself this week, Virgos. All right, you guys, so that is your energy for this week, Virgos. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you, Virgos. I do hope you take care, and I hope that this situation turns around so that you are able to put yourself first and that you are able to receive the love that you deserve. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.